Hello and welcome to this year's Serials Preview. I'm here with AICC agronomist Peter Brumpton who's going to give us a sneak preview in what you can see at this year's event. So Peter, here we are at the HGCA plot. What are the key things they're going to be addressing this year? As always on the HGCA plots, variety is, is the key factor. But along with, alongside that as well, we've got their research projects that they want to bring to the levy payer and just bring them up to date on what's going on and they'll be leading experts to do that. So Peter, cover crops have also been mentioned this year. They have, and HCCA are looking at this method, and it could be a useful tool in the armour against blackgrass controlled. Um, there are some pot trials been going on and looking at the biofumigant effect of the cover crop on suppressing blackgrass weeds, really. And equally, we've got the new publication from HCCA, which is dealing with the blackgrass menace, will be on, available to pick up on site. So disease pressure has been once again a big factor this year. Has the varietal difference come into play at all? Yeah, I mean, disease has been massive this year, Luke, due to the weather conditions. And obviously we've had a mild winter, so therefore disease has just kept going. And we have seen big differences in varieties. And if you come to the HGCA plots, you can see equally the untreated plots, and they are really quite dramatic how disease has come in and caused some damage. And alongside those, there will be the treated plots. And equally, you then can see what your fungicides are doing and what you're getting for your money. Now, Niab Tug have got more plots than ever before this year. Absolutely, yeah, 97 in fact. Mainly winter wheat, but also, obviously, as you can see, obviously, right to our back, um, rye, triticale, also oats, beans, and a few novelty crops as well. And what's their key message? Their key message this year is farming in 2020, are you ready? And that encompasses? Well, changes that are going to affect us, obviously, at that stage, such as legislation, climate change, pesticides, resistance to pesticides, disease, and other key factors. Okay, so there's plenty going on here with uh, Niab showing us cereal crop development. Could you tell us a little bit more, Peter? Yeah, it's quite a good story, this loop to be fair. I mean, we've got sort of everything from the iron corn here, running right through to the right at the end, coming sort of the hybrid wheats, the conventional wheat Santiago, and, and the winter barley. So it's all here on this, this little bit of this plot. Here on the HGCA plot, there's also a weather station. Can you just talk us through that, Peter? Yeah, this is part of the HGCA network of weather stations across the UK, which has been used to develop uh, better disease forecasting models. And linking that to variety resistance, uh, we can then obviously focus better our fungicide inputs into the crop. Now, as well as plenty to see on the all seed rate plots, there's also some brilliant practical advice that growers can get from this year's event. That's right, Luke. You know, obviously, the two main economic uh, yield-causing diseases are uh, light leaf spot and FOMA. And HCA's philosophy is at the show is to basically have some experts on hand to discuss how, on a local level, we can adapt to management strategies. So, as always, this is the premier arable event of the year, and we look forward to seeing you on the 11th of 12th of June.